I will now call this uh, ceremony to order. I want to welcome everyone who's come out today. And at this time, I would like to ask our fire department chaplain, Jeff Williams, if you would come forward and give us the invocation, please. Let's pray right quick. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we do thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to even improve, Lord, on the services provided by the city, Lord. Pray for those that will be constructing the building, Lord. Give them safety and a, and a good good weather, Lord, that they can finish in a timely manner, Lord. Pray for those that will be housed here, the firefighters. Give them protection, Lord, and for the surrounding community, Lord, uh, that they'll realize they're provided with the best that we can offer. And we pray for the city council. Give them wisdom on the resources they have to use, Lord. And just be with us, Lord. Help us be a glorious occasion, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank you all for coming out today. I want to say greetings and welcome to the future site of the city's newest fire station. I want to welcome all of you and want to recognize uh, and I recognize the fact that this is uh, a site that this council had picked out to be the location of the next uh, fire station here in Jacksonville. A lot of work went into uh, determining and, and, and making this uh, a possibility. In 1962, when the current Northwoods Fire Station was commissioned by the mayor and council that were in office at that time, uh, this parcel where I stand or where we stand at today was nothing, uh, nothing but a mere outpost of Jacksonville. As a matter of fact, uh, at that time, Jacksonville High School was not even occupying that field. It was still woodland. <clears throat> today, this is but one of the uh, one part of our thriving Jacksonville city. And it was a responsible decision of the city to place the station in Northwoods at the time it was done, as that was where the center of growth was for our city at that time. The station uh, was modern for its day, with clear story windows to let light in all hours of the day and night. And uh, begin engineer uh, in, provided us with a bigger engine, uh, engine bay than had been built before. I fondly remember the uh, fire station in Northwoods, you know, growing up as a child here in Jacksonville. And uh, matter of fact, my cousin was a firefighter at the time and uh, many times I would go over there and eat supper with them uh, and got to know all the firefighters that were working in the city at that time. Of course, I won't be about 10 years old then, so. <clears throat> but like other things, this 1962 model, 1963 model became outmoded. Uh, it was a one bedroom, one bathroom, one office uh, unit that uh, does not represent the excellence in fire service that our firefighters deserve. Soon on this site, a modern three day or, or three bay, excuse me, a building that carries on some of the features found in our city hall towers will be dedicated to excellence and citizen service for the next generation of firefighters and leaders. This station will host the first responders that the city is so proud of. The current Northwood station has responded to several calls which have saved lives by our fast professional response by trained emergency care providers. This station will host modern apparatus and carries equipment never imagined when the 1963 station was built. Equipment that advances the job of the firefighters and keeps them safe. Equipment that protects the environment and speeds up cleanup after a mishap. Equipment that saves lives and provides emergency medical care. This station will also serve the neighborhood by having a, a police community room that will be an outpost for police officers to conduct interviews and other police business without having to go all the way back into the headquarters station downtown. It will also be an opportunity for uh, officers to meet with uh, people from the neighborhood, surrounding neighborhood, uh, with, a, with the intent of, of advancing crime prevention strategies. To manage these resources, the city has done well by the service of Chief Mike Unero, who does serve as the public safety director and police chief, and who now offers remarks also on the station and the fire service. And I would ask Chief Unero if you'd come forward at this time. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you for those comments, Mayor. Um, first of all, I'd like to express my appreciation to the Mayor and the Council for 
building this station because it's really about two things. The first thing it is is about saving lives and in the last year your public safety professionals have been out there saving 11 lives and and really that's what it's about. This station will be state-of-the-art it'll it'll help the officers or firefighters respond. I was talking to Katie with the Daily News and we were talking about what this meant to the community and it means a more efficient station which means they're going to be at the scene quicker to make that that difference that difference in people's lives and really that's the main reason for the station but there's also a second fold is our mayor and council have committed to making it more comfortable for our firefighters more effective for the, our firefighters giving them the quarters they deserve so they've made a commitment both to our citizens and employees and a lot of times decisions usually have one one repercussion or the other something helps the citizens might not help the employees something helps the employees might help the citizens but this is a win-win situation we're going to help both the employees and our citizens and for that i thank you um, as as one of your city employees now i'd like to introduce spencer lee the deputy chief of the fire department for a few remarks chief lee Well, we are truly grateful and truly honored to be able to be here today and to uh, be proud of the moment that we're getting ready to build a new fire station here. And I'd like to mimic the words that uh, Chief Unero said with regards to thanking the mayor and the city council and also the citizens for giving us the opportunity to build a fire station in this area. Uh, we have dedicated our careers and our lives at this point to serving the citizens of the city of Jacksonville and we proudly serve them with the intent to try and save lives and improve that service that we give to the citizens of Jacksonville. This station will, is, uh, our, our firefighters are quite excited about this fire station and that, that they're able to, to come away from a station that was built in 1963 and uh, be to be in a station that's more modern, more updated and uh, as Chief Unero stated, is a, is, is a much better living facility for the firefighters. And again, I'd like to thank the council and the mayor for, for that, uh, because this station is, is a home away from home for our firefighters. They will literally spend a third of their lives in this building. So we're truly grateful to the mayor and the council and the citizens for this building. All right, we have an unveiling we're going to do over here. I have our, our council members uh, walk over to the sign. 